How to train a dog to be calm during radiation therapy for chest tumors. When a dog is diagnosed with chest tumors that require radiation therapy, it can be a challenging and stressful experience for both the pet and its owner. Radiation therapy is essential for treating these tumors, but it often involves immobilizing the dog in a treatment position, which can cause anxiety and restlessness. To ensure a successful and comfortable radiation therapy session, it is crucial to train the dog to be calm and cooperative during the procedure. In this video, we will explore effective training methods to help your four-legged friend stay calm during radiation therapy for chest tumors. Understanding the procedure. Before delving into the training techniques, it is essential to have a basic understanding of the procedure itself. Radiation therapy is a treatment method that utilizes high-energy rays to destroy cancer cells. During the process, the dog is required to lie still for a specific period while the radiation is delivered to the targeted area. For chest tumors, this can be even more challenging as it involves immobilizing the upper body of the dog. This process is usually repeated multiple times over the course of several weeks. 1. Familiarize your dog with the treatment environment. One of the first steps in training your dog to be calm during radiation therapy is familiarizing them with the treatment environment. Arrange a visit to the treatment facility before the actual procedure to allow your dog to become comfortable with the surroundings. Let them explore the room, get accustomed to the new scents, and meet the staff who will be treating them. The more familiar the environment becomes, the less stressed your dog will be during the actual therapy sessions. 2. Gradual Desensitization Training your dog to be calm during radiation therapy involves gradually desensitizing them to the procedures they will encounter. Begin by acclimating your dog to the feeling of being immobilized. You can start at home by gently restraining them for short intervals with treats and positive reinforcement. Gradually increase the duration until your dog becomes comfortable staying still. Use patience and reward-based training methods to encourage their cooperation. 3. Practice basic commands. Basic obedience commands such as sit, stay, and lie down are crucial for ensuring a calm and cooperative behavior during radiation therapy. Consistently practice these commands in various environments to reinforce their understanding. Incorporate distractions during training sessions to simulate the environment of the treatment room. This way, your dog will be better prepared to follow instructions even in a potentially stressful situation. For counter-conditioning techniques. Counter-conditioning is a training technique that helps dogs associate positive experiences with potentially stressful situations. Apply this method during radiation therapy training by pairing the treatment equipment with rewards. For instance, introduce the treatment table or mats used during the procedure at home and reward your dog with treats and praise when they interact with them calmly. This positive association will help alleviate their anxiety during actual therapy sessions. 5. Distraction Techniques During radiation therapy, it can be helpful to redirect your dog's attention away from the medical procedures. Bring their favorite toys, treats, or puzzles to the treatment facility to provide mental stimulation and distraction. Engaging your dog's mind with enjoyable activities can divert their focus from any potential discomfort or anxiety they may experience during the session. Conclusion Training a dog to be calm during radiation therapy for chest tumors is a process that requires patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement. By familiarizing your dog with the treatment environment, gradually desensitizing them to the procedure, practicing basic commands, employing counter-conditioning techniques, and offering distractions, you can help reduce their stress levels and ensure a more comfortable experience. Remember, always consult with your veterinarian or a professional dog trainer for tailored advice and guidance throughout the training process.